Little People Big World star Matt Roloff revealed there's a secret mine shaft on his family's farm that was created way before his reality show began. The 60-year-old gave fans a little tour of the outside of the mine and explained a bit about its history on Wednesday night. Always wanting to show off different aspects of the role of farms and what projects he's working on, Matt decided to give a glimpse at a rarely seen location. On his Instagram story, the LPBW star drove around and stopped at a wilderness overgrown spot which led to a large wooden opening and pathway. Talking in the background of the video, Matt shared, A lot of people don't even know because we don't talk about it a lot that we have this cool mine shaft. I put those rocks there and built this years and years ago. Look how the tree roots have come through there. That goes all the way back probably 60 feet and underneath the barn. He continued as he showed off the unique place. And that mine shaft has a trapdoor that goes up into the barn above it. Anyway, I don't know why I just stopped, because we cleaned it out the other day and I thought it would be interesting to check out. Wanting to ensure as many of his followers learn of the mine shaft as possible, Matt also shared a picture of it on his feed. This current photo features something created long before LPBW was created, he revealed in the caption. Never been featured or mentioned on the show, to my knowledge, even though it was built several years before the show started. This mine shaft was built and inspired back in circa 1992-93. Now it's grown fully into what was envisioned many years ago, in parenthesis 20 years. Many of his followers were intrigued by it all and commented message of surprise and appreciation, as well as with some more questions. One user asked Matt to reveal a bit more about what the original plans for the mineshaft were and what it has all now become. The 60-year-old took the question to heart and gave a detailed response. He shared, Some friends of mine showed me a photo they took while hiking in the very back country of Oregon shortly after we moved here in 1989. I realized I probably would never be able to hike that far into the back country to actually see the mine shaft they took their photo at. So I decided at that point I would build the exact thing I saw in the photo. Several months later, 1994-ish, we had this 60 feet mine shaft. It has a trapdoor into the floor of the barn above it. He continued. Once they first started filming LPBW in approximately 2003, Little People Big Dreams, and even the precursor to that, true story that few know, we locked up the trapdoor so production could have a safe, secure barn to use. Few people know this history of the mine shaft. And no, despite popular rumors, this tunnel is not connected to the Western Town Tunnels. It's a very separate underground tunnel system. Here comes a smile and a couple of hashtags. The tour of the mine shaft comes after Matt has dropped over $2.6 million on renovations to the family farm, including remodels and new buildings. The Sun can exclusively reveal the patriarch has spent $2,627,978 in renovations over the last two years. Oregon property records reveal Matt spent $1,141,020 in improvements for the year 2021 and $1,089,070 in 2020 for one of the 32-acre parcels of land. The improvements listed on Oregon property records include renovations made to the main home, which was built in 1914, and surrounding land, a barn built in 1965, farm implement building made in 1990, farm utility shelter built in 2007, and more. Just last week, Matt revealed the main house where his ex-wife Amy raised their four children and lived during the divorce was being prepped and remodeled. A new addition to the farm is Matt's dream barn. He captioned a photo of the building. That feeling you get when you make beautiful buildings together. Thanks, Lauringer brothers, Rick, Ray, Dan and Rocky, for another amazing build and helping me chase my vision. In 2021, Matt built Grandpa's cabin himself. He captioned a photo of the finished product in February 2021. I reveal to you all, Grandpa's cabin, established 2021, built by Matt Roloff. The same month, he showed off a renovated shed. In September 2021, Matt revealed the famous barn would be getting a fresh coat of bright red paint. In 2020, Matt posted photos of a new house designed with permits submitted. One picture revealed a luxurious modern yet rustic home with a wood-beamed ceiling, decorative stone wall, spacious glass windows and expansive outdoor patio, perfect for entertaining. Matt continues to be the sole owner of Rolla Farms today. Though the Patriarch's twin sons Zach and Jeremy, both 31, have both shown interest in taking over the farm. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.